Contrary to popular belief, it appears there may be one power higher than the almighty HOA, and that is the Constitution. We just want to be free to be able to express our religiosity, to pray, to study, etc., like every other person in this country. For three years, a tiny congregation, Torres Chaim, led by Rabbi Yaakov Rich, has met twice a day in this private home in far north Dallas. But if you're looking to make friends, running a house of worship on a quiet residential street may not be the best way to do it. So the HOA fought back, suing to stop the practice. Today, a judge ruled against the HOA's request for a temporary injunction that would have stopped the worship while the lawsuit moved forward. When you call a witness to testify that, that your concerns are you had to stop while a blind man crossed the street, um, you know, that, that's, not, that's not the sort of, of concern that, that justifies uh, stopping all the families in this congregation from being able to, to practice their religious faith. The Liberty Institute, a defense fund for religious freedom, represents Toras Chaim. Lawyers argued the injunction would impede on the congregants' ability to freely practice the religion. Rabbi Rich says his congregants are all within walking distance and giving them access to a place to pray makes this a better neighborhood. I'm all about mending fences and I want very much that we should be one community, a very close-knit um, community that appreciates each other's differences and similarities. Neighbors with yard signs up against the synagogue were either not home today or refused to speak to the media. David Schechter, Channel 8 News.